Hello, welcome back to Barbie Virtue, and I might have an idea. <clears throat> Just I don't remember what the hell we did. Okay, so I need to get back here. Namet Atul. Oh my god, I forgot that I ah I watched some movies. Obi Kanu. This because if we use Atul Agni. Atul Agni, <clears throat> it should. <sighs> Udano tem. Atul Agni, Atul Agni, Atul Agni, Atul Agni, I want three of them, okay. Namet Atul. And over here, Namet Atul. Okay. <clears throat> really? <clears throat> and my. <clears throat> Sorry. Tia Uda, Ibon Ekto. Okay. On this to get. <coughs> Sorry. Well, can. Uh, Ibon Ekto. What the hell? Why? Okay. Tia Uda. Tia Uda. Ibon Ekto. Okay, so we need to do it quickly. Okay, so we don't really need to freeze it. <coughs> yep. Tia Uda. Namet Atul. Nope, I did it wrong. Uda not him. Tia Uda. Tia Uda. Ibon Ekto. Uda not him. You see my <sighs> not Namet Atul. <clears throat> Do you see what I mean? Uh, Obi Kanu. My God, I can't remember it. Namet Ekta. Obi Kanu. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Okay. <clears throat> Namet Atul. I need to freeze it. Tial Uda. Ibon Ekta. Namet Atul. No. God damn it. <clears throat> it's Uda Notem. I can't think when my throat is. It's, uh, it's scratchy. Tial Uda. Then Ibon Ekto, then Udano Tem. Tiel Uda, Ibon Ekto, Udano Tem. Why it goes back? Okay, so why it goes back? <laughs> no stack. <laughs> Tiel Uda, no. Namet Atu. I hope that's all, that's all we need. Namet Atul. Hmm. Obikano. No, it won't work. Obikano. No, don't you dare, don't you dare. Atul Agni. Namet Atul. Namet Atul. Okay. Tial Uda. Ibone. Okay, so we don't need to do that. We don't. Tiel Uda. Uda no tem. Tiel Uda. You see, that's what I mean. Tiel Uda. Tiel Uda. Uda no tem. Namet Atul. Namet. Okay. Okay, I'm safe now. Tia Uda. Namet Atul. 
and it goes like this. Oh, it says, Namet Atu. Obikenu. Obikenu. Opun Obi. And we're through. Nice. Wait, it didn't drop. Oh, it must have. Just didn't see it. Agni Munio. We just something to read. There def there's definitely something to read. Of destiny and myth aqualitas. Okay, so let me read it. Where is it? Okay, trying to get closer. Aqualitas was born as the crux of equality among people. The goddess was the linchpin around which the civilizations of the universe turned, and she told that we all receive a gift in the beginning, be it good or bad, and in this we are equal. Wherever his influence was felt, there was no disease, famine, or drought. There was no lack nor ill fortune, and so long as everybody saw this as the ordinary state of things, the goddess was happy. But her teachings were among the first things to be forgotten by the people after the Golden Age. When the temples began to fall and the portals to close, those having managed to reach Zenith were seen as chosen ones envied and hated by those left outside. Where was the equality fostered by equalitas where, when not all could benefit from the same opportunities? The goddess gave a certain fate to one man, but all wanted a better one. And this discontent and envy gave rise to myths. The people imagined equalitas placing a person's actions on her scales and thus judging whether they deserved a favorable destiny. They invented rules and rituals to follow to gain the goddess's favor, and equality soon became the preserve of charms and superstitions. And anyone who did not conform was seen as different, marginalized and banished. A paradise was invented that would welcome those who, in life, had reaped the fruits of devotion. Whole civilizations declared war on each other and were mutually massacred to conquer just a fragment of this lie. Equalitas was uh, unmoved. The destiny she gave people was not subject to constraints and each could do with it as he pleased. In the golden age, the gift of a destiny was respected and this was all it took for people to live in peace, because each fate was also worthy of respect. But this had been forgotten. Equality no longer existed. Equalitas was seen as an evil being by some and branded a legend by others. A story, nothing more and nothing less. In the meantime, the goddess had changed. Her instincts to protect mortals of which she was born had worn, waned, uh, waned and, having transformed into iniquitas, she began to torment them in earnest, covering some in misfortune and others in riches. She was unmoved by the fact that few should live comfortable in, if many could be left to suffer. But hate is not a characteristic emotion of that spirit. Her existence began to wane, and she gradually united with the heart of Zenith. Oh, I think, yep, that's the last planet over here. And there's still nothing behind it to read. Atul Agni Udanotem Tiel Uda Okay, so it gave me the fifth planet. And only one configuration is left to be done. Do that. But, but let's say first. I don't remember which way we should go. I don't remember which way is the fastest one.
This might be it. That's definitely not it. So for the portal it is. Really? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's the second portal. Okay, I guess if there's no symbol, there's nothing to read. And I wonder whether the main room changed. Okay, so let's see it. Uh, there's reset again, and the last plant is over there. Okay, Obi Kenu. This is this one. Apun Obi. Obi Kenu. Apun Obi. Obi Kenu. Apun Obi. Obi Kenu. Apun Obi. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. Apun Obi. There's something wrong. Okay, let's check it out from the upstairs. Um, notem op atul opun. Notem atul opun. Really? Just a little bit. <laughs> notem atul opun. Let's see it. It looks kinda okay. One, the first one, the third one. Maybe this one's one. Opun obi. Nope. Oh, obi kanu. Uh, this might be a little too far away. Obi kanu. Obi kanu. It doesn't really shine anywhere else. Opun obi. Fourth one looks okay. Trying the second one, I think, is the wrong one. Notem atul opun. Obi kanu. Opun obi. Okay, so something else is wrong as well. One, three, two, four, five. And the three is kind of between two. We still like this. Obi op. Opun obi. Obi kanu. Opun obi. That's wrong. Interesting. Because I don't know which one's wrong now. Natem atul apun. To me, it looks kind of okay. Obi kana. Opun obi. Obi kanu. Obi kanu. Opun obi. Nope. Obi kanu. No. No, 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 no. Namet ekto. Opun obi. Maybe this is more like it. But anything else looks fine. Well, I can. This one's really not okay anywhere else. Obi kanu. Notem namet ekto. Obi kanu. 
No, I don't really know. Or we can uh, act on a mat. Obikanu. Obikanu. It doesn't work anywhere anywhere else, right? Oh my god. Obikanu. Back here. Ah, no tem atul opun. Obikanu. Obi kanu. Obi kanu. Open obi. Obi kanu. Why is it okay here? Okay, it shows me. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. It changed. Now it shows me that it's okay. I was supposed to Open obi. Obi kanu. Open obi. Obi kanu. Open obi. I'm lost. I'm so lost now. This and this should be kind of in a... There. Obi kanu. Open obi. Mm, okay. Draw that again. Well, the other one shows only four. Okay, this is closed, and I didn't get any indication. So there's two. No, I oh, I drew it the wrong way. No. Okay, give me a second. I need to pick myself up and get this all sorted out. Be right back. Okay, so I drew that again in case I had it wrong. Notem atul opun. Notem atul opun. And I want to see whether I can reset it. Tial uda. No, it won't reset. I think this one's a little too low. Which means this one needs to go up one as well. Notem atul opun. This and this must go. Okay. Obi kanu. Opun obi. Obi kanu. What the f- <sighs> Opun obi. I hate when it does that. Okay, okay, okay. We've got that. Let's save. <sighs> Fully none of that stuff will be needed ever again. It's nice, but for some reason unlocking. This is scaring the hell out of me. Oh, those are... What? They're gone. Oh yeah, I think this was the last one. We needed to unlock. Anything to read? No? Lumetiel. I hate those guys. They are so creepy. And this looks like as if I'm going to an engine. I don't like those sounds. Okay, there's something. Okay. What's that sound? Hello? Yes, this is the chest. I can see this is the chest board. I didn't read. No, we never read a book. So there's that. This is the way we came from. Don't 
those are elements. Would you mind I'm trying to concentrate here? One, two, three, four, five, and six. <sighs> Can you show it to me? One, okay, okay, okay. I think I understand this. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Notem atul opun. Something to read? The path to Zenith. A princess archaeologist. Nice. All memory of the origins of the Crucible of Dusk is now long lost to the extent that we do not know if it was created by mortals or gods, or whether it has always existed. It is not clear whether there are others in addition to the one we know either. Despite these uncertainties, the Crucible's purpose is clear. Catalyzing the energy needed to open passages to other dimensions like Zenith when positioned correctly. All you have to do is fuel it with flames to launch the process. Curiously enough, the means by which the pilgrims reach the crucible seems to have changed over the eras. I am not talking about changes in the structure of the temple which have always occurred due to natural or man-made causes, but to the difficulties faced by travelers. Ancient testimonies speak of the temple as a place where knowledge is revealed and where people are put to test, but always with benevolence. The temple we know today has certainly maintained its goal of imparting knowledge, but the way in which we are taught may be described as crueler. By contrast, Zenith does not appear to have ever changed. Paradoxically, in its total variability. Each of those having reached it describes it <laughs> each of those having reached it describes it in a completely different way, since what the visitor finds depends upon his memories, desires, worries and fears. I feel I very am very fearful of butterflies. Lots of butterflies. Okay. The only constant within Zenith is truth. Everything found there exists somewhere, in material or immaterial dim dimensions, and it is shown exactly as it is, no more and no less. Zenith does not lie and does not invent. It is up to the visitor to prepare for what may be found there. Tiel Uda? I don't like it. Something else to read now. Wait, 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 wait. There has to be something else. No time at all, upon. Okay, how was it described? This okay. I'm looking at this. This is my point of interest. Uh, it was over there, I think. Nope, it was over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I think it counts. I'll try to count it now. One, two, one, two, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it resets, so it's two, three, six, eight, four, four, whatever that means. <laughs> okay. Two, three, six, eight, four, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. It's okay. It's six numbers. Like here. So first one is one two, then it's two three, three six four eight, five four and six four. I hope it's right. So we need a big canoe. Okay, so we need six statues. I think <laughs> the first one goes one two, so one and two. I think a big canoe. Obi canoe. Maybe here. The second one goes, uh, is down, I think. So it's. Wait, I'm lost again. I put this here, so there's the answer. So it's two free, two down, three left. Obi canoe. I think, I hope. Another one. It's three to the right. Three to the right and six down. Obi canoe. Obi canoe. And six down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we still need. We need three more. Obi canoe. No. Obi canoe. No? Obi canoe. Really? Obi canoe? No. Oh, I can get up here just like that. There's no more statues up here. At least now I know where the, these doors lead to. Sure, I'm trying to open something. Hmm. Atul Apun. If I go back this way, there's the portal. A beacon. A beacon? Nope. Atul Agni. Udanotem. Nope. Okay, okay. So I only have three statues. A beacon. Can I get the, this one? A beacon? Udanotem. A beacon. Okay, since I think we are nearing the end, I'm go not gonna end this part here, but I will pause it for a second for you. Because I'm really... I'm, okay, I've got every piece of information I could. I don't know what's in here. Uh, it's up to me to... Wait, I see it. This is one and two. Okay, 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 I see. So one goes vertical, horizontal, and two goes vertical. So the first... Okay, that changes. First, if the first one goes up, it's one, two, that's correct. But the second one is two, obi canoe, three... Who the fuck? Checkmate.
I did. Okay, so apparently you tried the first three. Uh, yeah, it was correct. The, the thing counted the hits. I counted them and then just connected this. I don't know whether I did it the legit way or whether it was a mere lag, but apparently it worked. I don't really go like that. Okay, I wanna read it. Please let me read it. I don't wanna go down there, please. Right, okay. Numaha, order and chaos. Knowledge has always been the goal pursued by Zenith, and before this, chaos had become order. That called Maha by the free emissaries, having incorporated all the power of creation into the language bearing its name. But Maha is no longer the being it once was, since at the dawn of time it split its spirit into Justitia, Equalitas and Veritas. All that remains of it is a physical mass at the center of the universe, Zenith itself. But the spirit has become corrupted and with it both flesh and matter. Now at the center of Zenith, there rests Numaha, its eyes closed, order transformed into chaos, and its eyes will only open to those who can demonstrate knowledge of every nook of the temple, and Numaha will look at and open its door at the top of the atrium to those who, having found every fragment of the past, will make free one and one free once again. But I didn't find every document. Okay, can I save? Notem, Atun, Opul. Wait, there it is. Okay, there's, there wasn't so much to do if I fail this. Wait, I think I can... Oh, I thought I was supposed to go down there. Oh, thank goodness. Natem Atul Opun. So now... What? We have a different thing to... Thing to think about. What the hell am I supposed to do? Well, it said that it needs to be... Uh, the path doesn't only the crystal of task is not long, but it's not clear. It's clear when position all you have to do is fuel it with flames to launch the process. Atul Agni Uda Nutem Agni Munya? No. Tia Uda? Okay, that's not it. Why am I? What am I supposed to position correctly? I position those guys. Namet atul opun. Well, that works as well. Wait, if I go back, what happens? Uh, no, this is still yeah. This is still closed off. Can I go back? Hello? Oh yeah, I'm dizzy as well. That's the thing! Okay, and I'm closed in here. Atul Agni. Udano ten. Agni Munya. Agni Munya. Okay. If you say so, a big canoe. Now, met Ector. Bye.
You made the will of a god. With a single action, you made time and space collapse. Maybe you could avoid this. Maybe you had a, cho a choice. Maybe. Maybe this could not be the end. Yeah, we'll check that out. Oh, check. There's a checkpoint, really? <laughs> when is this checkpoint? It's right. Okay, it's right before this. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Ah! Agni Munio. What did I lose according to you? Because I didn't get anything. More than that. I destroyed any space. I'm terrified. Oh, this is, this look like an emerald, emerald city. Dry alley. A door to the stars. And this looks like an arena. And I didn't like that. That's so pretty though. Is this the Zenith? Hello! You're awfully small. Very does. Definitely not Veritas. I think it's Vanitas. You know, the, the thing. <laughs> and you're ugly now. Okay, we're over a little bit too much over the place. <laughs> of those transitions. <laughs> okay, I think I know what, that I need to stress something. Checkpoint? What the hell? What the hell? Eh... Uh, Munio Namet! Okay, okay, I'm... Ectolman? I don't know what's going on. There's no water here. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Agni Munio. Agni Munio. Agni Munio. Ectolmen. Oh, Munio Namet. Munio Namet. A tool, a tool. Wow, I was hit. A tool, a me. Munion, a mat. A tool, a tool. I don't know. Munion. No. Uh, Agni Munio. Agni Munio.
Munion Ahmed. Well. Agni Munion. Oh. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Okay, I think I'm the balls. Agni Munio. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Which one's real? Ibon Munio. Ibon Ecto. Yeah, she broke. At least we can check out her hotel. <laughs> okay, you know, you know what? Give me a second. I can't. I just can't. Uh, Atul Agni. Oh, this one's real. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Okay, so this one's real. Ibon Ecto. No. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Uh, Agni Munio. Agni Munio. Let's see where's the real one. Munio Namet. I think this is the real one. Atul Ekto. No? Ah, which one's real? Agni Munio. Agni Munio! Munio Namet. Atul Ekto? No, I don't know which one's real. Agni Munio. Munio Namet. One should stay. I don't know why they don't. Agni Munio. Munio Namet. Atul Ekto. Oh. There's, there's something wrong again. They shouldn't be disappearing, I think. Munio Namet. Atul Ekto. Oh, I think I need to reload the game again. Okay, we are back. Okay, let's see it this time. Agni Munio. Munio Namet. Atul Ekto. Really? It missed. Agni Munio. Munio Namet. Atul Ekto. Yeah, yeah, hit her. Agni Munio. 
Maybe it's just Sulu. I think she's a real one. Nope. This one's done. What? Oh, what? Agni, when you This the real one. Munya on a met. Atul Ektor. Really? Agni Munya. Munio na met. Na met atu. Hey. I don't. I don't. I don't. Agni Munio. I know how to this how to get which one's real. Okay, she's the real one. Munio na met. Munio na met. Atul Ektor. Munio... Uh. Agni Munio. Munio... Nope. Munio na met. Atu ekto. No. If okay, I think if I'm in front of the wrong one, then she will not get hit. Agni Munio. Agni Munio. Munio na met. Atul Ekto. Agni Munio. Okay, this one's real. This one. That's different. Not them, Atul Opun. No tem atul opun. No tem atul opun. No tem atul opun. No tem atul opun. Agni Munio. No. This one's real. This one is real. Over here. No tem atul opun. Agni Munio. This is this one. This is the one. Munio na met. Atul Ekto. How many more? Agni Munio. This is the one. Notem Atul Opun.
Get to the water. Come on. Come on. You can do this. You got me there. A mere cure spell will not work on my wounds. The encounter with a divinity has awake weakened me and perhaps with her death she took part of me with her. There are more than just bodily wounds. Too much has been written and said about what is considered one of the loftiest objectives of the quest for knowledge, bringing the dead back to life. The argument is often used to fool weak minds with false promises which create the illusion that overturning death is easier than it truly is. Even the high priests of the order, whose knowledge deriv derives directly from the divinities, are only able to fulfill this feat using rare instruments and paying a high price. The ritual requires a quantity of vital energy equal to that of the creature one wishes to bring back to life, which is sapped from another living creature. For creatures that are similar, Therefore, it is necessary to sacrifice one to revive the other. This exchange, so fair and simple that even a child could understand it, is of course not mentioned by those wishing to exploit the ignorant. Furthermore, the transfer of energy and the contact with the immaterial world of souls are only possible through the crucible of dusk, which is certainly not within the reach of all. Contrary to certain rumors, human remains have nothing to do with all this, since they are a mere shell. The soul of the dead is recalled through the will of the person carrying out the ritual, and the creation of a material body is by far the simplest part of the whole process. The priests and chosen ones of the order can sacrifice themselves here, at the pedestal of Mechek A Monastery, the only known place where death is reversible. Every step in the ritual consumes part of the person carrying it out, causing suffering clearly visible to all spectators. Their first step is the activation of the pedestal by a ray of light, thus starting to bind the enchanter's soul to the crucible. The second step is the ignition of the crucible, which creates a connection with the soul of the dead. The third step is the confirmation of one's own will for a command rune, which transfers the last part of vital energy needed and completes the ritual, recreating one life and extinguishing the other. Ectolumen It takes all of the vital energy of a human being, but my health, both physical and spiritual, is already seriously compromised. Will the little strength I have left be enough to fulfill the ritual? In any case, my fate is sealed. It is my only option to give a little hope to live, however slim. Atul Agni. No. Agni Munyo. Yeah, I forgot about that. Kial Uda
not sure if that was leave. Well, but this concludes in the very be virtue journey, the magical journey to find immortality, or well, not immortality, to save the one left home. It was very fun, although sometimes very, very, very frustrating. You're beautiful. What can I say? The worlds, oh, the flying world. The world of stars. They were so. T Overall, the world made. was made beautifully. The enemies were very well fought. fought through. I just tend to get. <laughs> that just tend to get everything broken. What could be, what can be broken. That's that just my thing. So I don't mind it. The idea of fighting enemy with correct spells. Well, I just love the concept of speaking this magical words. And making the world come to life with it. It was all very beautiful. This is all, this is all I can say about this game. It it is beautiful, and I'm not at all disappointed by it. Oh, I was terrified. I was frustrated, but. All in all, I love this game. Yeah, I do. I hope you liked it. Not, not as much as I did, but a little bit, like I did. Because this was something else. <laughs>